Senator Mamora around. Where is the minority leader? No, you know, he keeps reminding us of donation, donation. Uh, so. <laughs> Distinguished colleagues, Senator Mamora is a nominee from Lagos, uh, Lagos State. Distinguished Mamora was a one time principal officer of the Senate. On behalf of our colleagues, I want to welcome you to where you held sway for many years. I want to also uh, request you to give us any additional information uh, about yourself that you think you need to highlight as provided in your CV or indeed omitted. But it's also an opportunity for you to say whatever you want to say uh, to your colleagues. Once again, uh, you are welcome. Can address the Senate. Mr. President of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, distinguished Senator Ahmed Nawal, distinguished Deputy Senate President of the Senate. Principal officers of the Senate, distinguished senators, I am only honored to stand before you this afternoon through the grace of God and the benevolence of President Mamadou Buhari I'm a medical practitioner by profession and a politician by vocation. You will have seen in my CV what it's been like so far about me. It naturally and expectedly, stepping into these chambers this afternoon, I had a feeling of nostalgia, having been privileged to sojourn in these hallowed chambers for eight years. Of course, coming from the background of the Speaker of the Lagos House of Assembly, and while in the Senate here, I was also privileged to be a member of the ECOWAS Parliament. While here, through the grace of God, I was able to make my modest contributions to nation building of our dear country. And um, on leaving the Senate in 2011, I was privileged to have been appointed by our President, then Retired General Muhammad Buhari, as the Deputy Director General of the campaign, presidential campaign, in uh, 2015. And in 2019, I was also privileged to have been returned in the same capacity. And um, currently, 
I serve as the Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer of the National Inland Waterways Authority. I want to thank Mr. President for nominating me as a candidate for the office of the Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I'm happy and grateful to all of you for the opportunity to stand before you this afternoon. I think I will stop there for now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Distinguished colleagues, I just want to remind us on what we, the policy we have set for ourselves. And that policy is when a nominee was a member of this chamber, he or she gets the privilege of belonging to this chamber and this family. And therefore, we normally ask the two leaders to talk on our behalf. And I'll go ahead to invite the Senate Minority Leader to make his remarks, and then the Senate Leader wraps, his, wraps it up. Senate Minority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President, sitting as the Chair. Enya Baribe Abia South. Let's say that our own Mamu is here with us. And we are very glad that finally they have recognized who you are. We know what you went through. You sat on this seat and did very well. And they used local materials to localize you. You didn't give up. Minority leader, Minor, minority leader, you are expected, you are expected to speak on behalf of the Senate. I, I will therefore advise, I will therefore, I will therefore advise that you strictly, very strictly adhere to that norm. Thank you. You may continue. Thank you, Mr. President. I may have misspoke. All I wanted to say was that local considerations dropped national considerations. Very correct. Very correct. Thank you, Mr. President.
with the subject under discussion. The no no I have to rule. Minority leader, please confine yourself to the matter under discussion. Senator Olubimi Adetumbi, you are perfectly in order, and your order is sustained. Senator Mamora is our very good friend, and is my neighbor. And I can say this for him. We know of a situation where senators left here. We are offered positions that a senator shouldn't take. And they do. But Senator Mamora was offered position and he rejected it because he looked at each and every one of us and said, if I take that position, it will demean this senator. So this senator thanks you for keeping to that. And therefore, I have absolutely, on behalf of the minority, no, no, on behalf of the minority, sir, to say that on behalf of this Senate, we see you as an ambassador to the villa for which you will be able to school those who do not understand the interaction that is needed between the White House over here and the villa over there. We know you will do that because you have been a quintessential legislator in this chamber. And we thank you and we wish you well and uh, we have, on behalf of all of us, to say that you can now bow and go and congratulations. Senate, Senate leader. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues. Uh, Mr. President, I would like to, first of all, extend my gratitude to my colleague Senator Abadibe for his very sharp wit and his hilarious jibes, uh, for which this chamber, you know, uh, has been very hilarious and entertaining, you know, to this chamber. But I think, uh, I think let's go back to issues of substance and decorum. Uh, on behalf of the entire membership of this Senate, I wish to recognize a man of excellence that is standing before us, somebody who has accumulated a lot of knowledge and experience, both in professional and political fields. Dr. Mwamura is a medical doctor but he's a person who has performed excellently in the political space. Both, I heard his name when he was Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly from where he graduated to the Senate and spent two terms in the Senate and rendered a lot of service to the Senate before some of us even thought we would even graduate and come to this highly respected institution. Senator Mamura, we are very great. And this Senate would not have been what it is without the enormous work that you people have done from 2003 through 2011. Particularly, I will recall, for some of us who were at that time in the Federal Civil Service, we we'll recall the kind of fight that you people have conducted to give the National Assembly the kind of independence and the kind of recognition that all of us are enjoying today. Thanks to the tenacity and the presence of mind and the sense of purpose that have led us to this point 
that now we have a Senate that now we are saying, look, the Senate has now come to stay, the National Assembly has now come to stay, we are a well-recognized institution. Now we are talking about what value can we add to the rest of Nigeria. We think we have come to stay and every institution we have been institutionalized. We thank to a lot of work and a lot of uh, the contributions that people like you have made you know, to the stature and the presence of the National Assembly. You can look at his CV, you can see the membership of committees that he served, both within the Senate and also in interparliamentary affairs in Africa and around the world. With this record of excellence, Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, I will recommend and urge our distinguished members to please commend Senator Mamura to bow and depart from this channel. I so recommend. The Lagos caucus, you know, is unanimous, you know, in support of this particular nomination. I so recommend, Mr. President. Thank you very much, uh, Senate Leader and the Minority Leader. The distinguished colleagues, I cannot, I think, resist the temptation to say something about Senator Momora. Senator Momora has been one of those senators who are here and who, after they left this chamber, continue to be very good ambassadors of the National Assembly. We have seen him in action explaining what the National Assembly and the Parliament is. And that is one issue that we have to continue to do because we are not properly understood. So I will urge you on behalf of my colleagues that you continue with this very good and rewarding ambassadorial role that we have been doing since we left 2011. For us, when we came here in 2007, we were very young, possibly even hot-headed. We learned a lot from you. You have contributed immensely in our induction our programs for new members of the National Assembly. Now you have another big role to play. In the Federal Executive Council, not many of the FEC members would have legislative experience. And those who don't have that experience, many of them don't understand what we are supposed to do or how we are supposed to operate and work with them. So I urge you to continue with this ambassadorial role in the Federal Executive Council, that we are prepared, we are primed, we are set to work together with the executive for the interests of this country and we deserve every possible mutual respect so that we are able to work in such a fashion that this country will be taken to the next level. Is this the view of the Senate that he takes a bow? Angwo, distinguished Senator Mamora, you can take a bow. With those in favor, that he takes a bow and leave, say aye. Those against say nay. The eyes have it. You can take a bow and go.